Hello friends, it's a boy Nick that I'll be traveling to Southwest England, a country named Cornwall. This is going to be off-grid camping for 48 hours and actually this is my first time camping and I'm so excited guys to share this experience with you. So stay tuned and let us explore. So these are all the necessary essentials we packed for this trip. We literally had everything we needed. Fire, water, food, you name it. And due to this year weather condition, we also made sure to pack rainy jackets, which was very useful during our stay in Cornwall. This was 250 miles drive trip from Birmingham to Cornwall. That's four hours, 25 minutes drive. That's crazy ride. <laughs> And this was my first time ever doing such a long drive like this. Honestly, it was fun, blasting some of my favorite tunes and keeping the moment to stay in focus. The plan for this trip is off-grid camping, literally no hotels, just sleeping in our car and cook it off-grid with our power. We spent a two days staying in Cornwall Service Station car parks overnight and spending the day exploring the beautiful beaches. Cornwall has one of the most varied and beautiful coastlines in the UK with over 400 beaches. Some of the popular beaches such as Port Kino Beach, Beautiful culture mid coast of natural beauty with clear Turkish water and soft white sand just along the coast from Pezanse. We had the pleasure to explore two beautiful beaches which in this video I'll be giving all the details you need if you're planning to visit Como. Stay tuned to the end of this video as there's so many informations you don't want to miss out which I wish I knew before visiting. So we spent our first night at Victoria's in Oslo service station which we had 4 hours free parking. In terms of temperature wise, it was a bit windy in the morning as this year the UK summer weather was unpleasant. Take the third exit on A30. Hello friends, I'm in Cornwall right now. The plan for today was to visit Vonda Beach, which is a beautiful beach, but hey, it didn't go as planned. Literally, it's been raining all day. So to get to Vonda Beach, you have to literally walk down cliffs, which was a big risk. So we decided to change our plans and drove to another nearest beach called Port Cudno. Surprisingly, as we got there, the weather at Port Cudno was way better than we expected. I'm in Port Kuduno Beach and I hope I mentioned it right. Online this place looks incredible and I can't wait to share this experience with you guys. So stay tuned. Kino is one of Cornwall's most iconic beach with crystal clear waters and white sand. This is the perfect swimming spot and we thought we could have been abroad whilst we were there.
Just got out of beach. To be honest, um, I'm a bit quite surprised because when we went there this morning, it was a little bit cold, but now it seems like the sun is coming out. So, so far, it's been going pretty good. And now it's time to get the food in. And, you know, let me show you guys what we put on the show. A few moments later, we nearly freaking set the place on fire. Yeah, this is, this is actually very funny because. <laughs> <laughs> we actually set, we nearly set the place on fire. You know what? We're having a great time, and you know that's that's what this trip is about. This was something new, and I'm so glad to share this whole experience with you guys. So let me show you what are we actually cooking. So guys, this is corn. This is corn, yeah. And then we've got some chicken. Let me show you guys. Looks nice, right? Yeah, and then the mess, the mess we created. This was crazy, man. So we're gonna finish our food, and then later I'm gonna head to the beach. I guess at the end it all came along, camping life. So I'm enjoying it. So I feel I'm gonna get used to this life. Cheers. If you're planning to visit Cornwall with your family and to also barbecue on the beach, just know it's permitted. The beach has to be owned by the council. Some of Cornwall beaches are private owned, so please do your research before any plan. So after the meal, we decided to visit the historical Minak Theatre, which is on top of the cliff. To get to Minak Theatre, you have to take the stairs from the beach. Friends, please make sure you're scared of heights. It's a bit challenging, but it's worth it. It has an incredible view from the top, and honestly, we had an unforgettable experience.
This was such a relaxing walk from Minak Theatre to Port Cunio Car Park. We met this beautiful Canadian family and had an awesome chat. Honestly, I recommend this beach. It's such a multicultural and you get to meet beautiful peoples from all over the world. In Como today, the weather wasn't the best, but hey, the sun was still a little bit out, which we had a great experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to this channel, like this video. I'm out. Peace.